Hey, howdy everybody, what is up? How is it going? Today I'm checking out the rest of the Poetic Edda EP from Disembodied Tyrant and Synestia. Uh, I heard the title track, the Poetic Edda. If you haven't seen that video, go check that out. What is in the background? Oh, this little bag thing here is just... It's my piano bag, just ignore it. I'm hauling my piano all, all over the place to play for children, make them happy or something. They enjoy it. Um, I heard the first track, uh, if you want to, or the title track, if you want to go watch that reaction, if you haven't, you can see that. But I figured I would just make a video with the other three songs. So here it is. Uh, Zach, aka Ghost Raptor, recommended this. He went into the song tier on my Patreon and requested Winter specifically, but I just figured I'd lump the other two songs on the EP in there that I haven't heard because people have been begging for them in my comments so I'll just put it on one video and I won't make it like a Patreon exclusive obviously this is out on YouTube you guys are viewing this on YouTube so it's, it'll just be for everybody um, and I figured why not you guys will enjoy this so <laughs> and I'm sure I will too I'm sure I'm gonna be a big fan of these songs if the Poetic Edda was anything to go by alright I'm gonna do these in the order that they appear on the EP, so I'll do Death Empress first, then I the Devour, and then finally Winter, which is apparently the big one that everyone's freaking out about. Winter has 89,000 views. Uh, I the Devour, which came out almost a year ago, geez, has 225,000 views. And Death Empress is... Uh, oh, it looks like Death Empress and Winter were new for the EP, and that has 96,000 views. Okay. So Winter actually has the least amount of views out of the three here. That's that's unexpected. I thought Winter I maybe I'm reading the hype wrong, but I thought Winter was the the big hype one. Uh oh well. And then Zach also made some sly hints that Winter also may or may not use <laughs> Vivaldi's Winter from his Four Seasons suite. So we shall see. Let me get into this. Disembodied Tyrant, Synestia, Death Empress. I probably will not need my keyboard for this in any capacity, but we'll see. You never know. Why do I look a little... This camera's so bad. There we go. I'm a little brighter now. Here we go. Here we go. Beautiful video. I'm a big fan of medieval vibes, so I love this. Those violins are going off. This is chuggy. <laughs> I had to check if I'm listening to the right song because it said winter like twice now. Wow. Little pause break here. Are we? Why is it? Why is it 720p? What in the world? What happened there? Ooh, the choir. Yes. This is so cool. This is so cool. <laughs> He's got a straw through the... Yeah. 
Yes! Yes, dude! Excuse me? Bruh. Is it over? It's over. Oh my god. Oh. Um that's <laughs> That's one of the most creative and unique sounding breakdowns I think I've ever heard. What were those sounds? What were the I need to hear this again. I need water. I'm getting a headache now. I need to hear this again. Yeah, like what? That's insane. It's the- dude, it's- you can't have a heavy music video like this without some sort of mirrored image. It happens- it happened here, Humanity's Last Breath does it, I just did the video on uh, the, that Rot song, and that one did it. I don't know what it is with these songs needing these mirrored images, but you know when, you're, when you get this, it's gonna- it's gonna go hard. Um, wow, that- <laughs> that was insane. All right, well, we're two for two on incredible songs on this EP so far. There's only two left. Let's see how good these other two songs are. All right, next up is I the Devourer. Slam Worldwide exclusive. That sounds pretty. Here we go. It's building. I love these like really fast triplets. Dude. I love this riff. This is really good. I like these riffs and stuff that make the songs feel unique. Is it, why does... Oh, oh, oops, sorry. It looked a little fuzzy to me. I guess it doesn't really matter for a lyric video, but still. 
This is gorgeous. I am... I'm such a huge... If, like... I'll, I'll, I'll say it later. Hang on. Something's happening. <laughs> oh. This is so sick. This is really groovy. I love how different the three songs I've heard so far all feel, too. I feel like we're not done. I feel like we're not done. I feel like this is gonna explode. Oh no. Give it to me! Come on, come on! Wow. This is some of the most unique slam deathcore uh, classical influenced uh, it's some of the most, mu most unique music I've ever heard. I love this. This is so good. This is so good. This one was the first one that came out out of I think, right? No, I think okay, no this was just 8 months ago. Okay. So, yeah, then this this was the first song that came out from the group of this EP that I feel like it was it was kind it was really really good and it had that that groove to it and the like the different melodies and like the the classical influence I felt was heavier in that one than even um Death Empress but I think I think I like Death Empress more <laughs> That's a great song, though. I don't really have any. Uh, yeah, I don't have any negatives really about it. I think I have to sneeze. Give me one second. I didn't. I didn't have to sneeze actually. That was incredible. I kind of expected more from like a final breakdown. I expected it to like go heavy, but it just kind of bam, and then it ended. So that was a little weird. But I love the rest of it. I didn't even dislike that. It just wasn't what I was expecting. All right, winter. People are hyping this one up. Let's see what I got. We got some snow. It is indeed winter. There's a Valdi winter. There it is. It is a Valdi winter. This better go hard. Come on. <laughs> Yes. As expected. Pavali was cooking when he wrote this, bro. Oh, 
They're gonna make us wait for the for the beat drop of this song. It's still building. I should shut up because my my voice is like a millisecond behind the audio on the recording. <laughs> Okay, can I just say, wolves are either super cool or extremely cringe, and there is no in-between. It's cool in here, but when it's cringe, it's cringe. I'm gonna go back a bit, sorry. <laughs> Depends on the context in which they're used. Ooh. Drum lightning. <laughs> Organ. Perfect. Oh. oh, they double down on that riff. That's so good. <gasps> the choir. Oh, this build up goes so hard. We better, we better go insane. With this breakdown at the end. Back to Winger. Okay. Ooh. This is insanely epic. It feels so huge. Oh, no, dude, the choir. Is that it? Oh. I should have known better. I should have known better. This is incredible. <laughs> I think this might be EP of the year. I don't know how you top this. I don't know how anything can top this. In terms of like heaviness, this takes the cake. Maybe an EP will come out that's just insanely melodic and that I love for the melodies, but like I I love 
things either like if they have a, an amazing melody or they go yucky hard like this and those are like my two favorite kinds of, of music like it's either disgusting or the melody is really good. If it's kind of mid, if it's kind of floating in the middle and like it, the melodies aren't that great, it doesn't go that hard. No, no, that's, that's where, that's where something is mid. This is the furthest thing from mid. This, I think, throwing in the title track, Poetic Edda, all these four songs, I think this is probably EP of the year, most likely. I don't know what can top this. I don't. I truly don't. This this is unbelievable. And the songs feel so unique. Each one of them has something about them that makes it so unique. Poetic Edda felt like a movie because it had the different sections and it had the like the labeled different parts of it. And you had like the, the movements, I guess, kind of. Um, and then Death Empress had more of that medieval feel to it. Which I, de I the Devourer had a little bit as well. Or is, wait, is it I the Devourer or does I Devourer? I, I, I deleted the tab. Um, anyway. Yeah, it had more of that medieval feel. And I Devourer... I the Devourer? I Devourer? Anyway, that track had a little bit of that medieval stuff too. Um... That one I felt it was more marked by the groove and the the guitar work on that one because that one the a lot of the like I'm on like the verge of sneezing like all like all the time it feels for some reason what's wrong with me am I am I am I dying I have to sneeze hang on I that was like the longest build up to a sneeze I could feel it coming for like a minute I don't know if you saw but I was like on the verge like constantly anyway the I devour one that I was talking about that one the guitar work felt a little bit more melodic. I don't even know why I pulled out my piano. I'm I, I, I have it just in case, but I kind of knew I wasn't going to need it for something like this because it's not really something that that you really like go and you analyze the chord and you can do a talk about that. Like I I could I could listen back, but that's not the focus of these songs at all. It's it's about just the whole thing as a whole and the heaviness and the the grooves of i i devour i'm just gonna call it that i don't care i forgot what it's called <laughs> but it's like the grooves of that and with winter it was the classical influence and the choir the choir in this was so good in the build-up to the breakdown and then that breakdown hits and then you've got just those like the dissonant choir that sounds like scary it, that's like it feels like straight out of a horror movie that's so incredible it's so well done and e yeah, like I said, like each song had a different focus. Each song felt unique. Each song, it didn't, it felt like, yeah, I mean, I'm listening to the same group, but it didn't feel like it's just the same thing over and over again, which slam can be sometimes. And I know this is more like slamming death or whatever, who cares? It, genres are confusing anyway. Um, but it felt more distinct, which a lot of slam I feel doesn't really feel all that distinct sometimes it can just feel like and, and, that, and like everything just kind of like it's doing its thing it's like yep this is this is heavy but this was heavy with a lot of thought put into the song structure and just the way that the music is composed like you can tell it wasn't just this is going to be a heavy section and then we're going to do that no it, there were there were so many changing parts there were so many like time signature switch ups and it would go from duplets into triplets and it would it would switch between those and then you'd have just incredible build ups to these breakdowns which sometimes were predictable but more often than not were very unpredictable you had like the the breakdown of winter which i i was like is that it and then i got slapped across the face and and like my had my head thrown into the dirt because i wasn't expecting that thing to come which i i should have I should have learned what to expect with these guys, but I didn't. And what did I get from it? A masterpiece song, which leads me to my overall review of this EP as a whole for the full poetic at a EP. Um, uh, if you haven't watched any of my other recent videos, I have my own ranking scale. Eventually, I'm going to get a graphic or something to be up here on the side or somewhere where I'm going to have the different rankings. But there's six different rankings. It goes masterpiece. Uh, banger goes hard not bad not for me an actual dog water I'm gonna put this one <laughs> I think I have to put this at masterpiece I think this has to be this 
this is a masterpiece. This is the best DP I've heard this year for sure. Not by a long shot, actually, because the Gradient's Ironside EP was amazing. I love that one. But this, I think, just it, it takes the cake all around. This has everything I was hoping it did. Every song is perfect. There's so much replayability here. There's so many little things I'm going to catch on repeat listens. I can just I I don't see anything topping this for EP of the year. This is this is incredible. Wow, I'm I'm sufficiently blown away. All right. Thank you everybody for watching this video. If you did not watch my poetic edda reaction, go check that out cuz that's also on YouTube. Um go watch some other one of my videos. Like the video, comment, let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.